Welcome back. The shit has hit the fan because Arnoid the droid has caught up with us for our issue of non-payment on a whistle that, according to the order form in Space Quest 2, was actually free. So what the hell is that about? Anyway, we have 10 seconds to get the hell out of here and um, you can forget about making it to your ship. Isn't gonna happen. There are actually two ways of dealing with this and I'm going to show you both of them. The first way is to head to the left from here. You can see he is already following us. What we need to do is go in here and use the elevator quickly. All right. Now let's head up to the second level. Let's take a look around here, actually. You're within the cavernous interior of Malk's Belly. An elevator shaft leads down, and stairs run between the first and second level platforms. The heavy equipment necessary to automate Malk can be seen on the upper level. Well, we're safe from Arnold until he comes up here, and you can see the... Um, Elevator moved, there he comes. He seems to have turned off his invisibility. I'm saving here because the timing of this is a little bit tricky and I don't remember exactly what you need to type. I see you, Wilco. Yeah, I would give you uh, an Arnold impression for him, but I suck at doing... Uh, um, is it a pulley? I'm not sure. Reaching up, you give the rope pulley a mighty shove. Got it! Haha! -ha. And you throw him into the gears, and he gets grinded to scrap. Ha! Serves him right. The Terminator is now a pile of junk on the first level platform. Looking closely, you notice that the Terminator's invisibility belt has survived relatively intact. So we can take that, and that would be real useful and uh, stuff. However, hey, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't know that. Hey, what's going on here? Didn't you read the sign saying we're close for repairs? Oh, I've seen him written that grease-swilling android. Never did like that Terminator series. Good riddance to bad circuits. Well, you might as well write down with me. I guess we might as well. I've forgotten that he would show up, because I normally don't use this method. Okay, well that's one way. However, there is another way which actually gives you more points, so that's what I'm going to use. Because right now we have 238 points. So let's restore back to um, just after he gave us the warning. Then head south instead. And he won't catch you on this screen, so you don't need to worry about that. And there you can see his footprints. And you want to go as far right as possible before getting up on the ridge. Like I said, forget about making it to your ship, you're not going to make that. What you want to do is walk behind the back of these things. Hey! Come on, that's supposed to work. Okay, let's try that again. That's supposed to work. He's supposed to get eaten by those things. Yeah, apparently going to the right did not particularly help much. On that screen. Got it. There we go. 
He gets eaten, but uh, pods don't like him and they spit him back out. The question now is, how do we get this invisibility belt without getting eaten ourselves? Let's look at uh, the damage we've done. The Terminator is now a pile of junk lying on the sand under the pustules. Looking closely, you notice that the Terminator's invisibility belt has survived relatively intact. Now, what you need to do to get the belt is use Orat. But apparently not from here. I think you need to do it from this side, but I'm not sure. Yes, there we go. Use the Orat on a stick to grab the belt. And now we have 248 points. Ten more than with the other method. Isn't that nice? Well, we've gotten the Terminator off our back. And we've gotten some stuff so we can go to Ortega with the Firma we have underwear if we want to. And we've gotten money in case we need it somewhere else. But there's nothing else to do on this uh, planet, so let's sit down and get out of here. Start the engines. And blast off! Let's check the navigation system. What else is on here? That's where we are now. Ooh. Name, Monolith Burger Fast Food Dive. Sector 62, a finite number served. It's a McDonald's ripoff. Well, I do feel a little bit peckish, so I guess we should check it out. So, set course. And light speed. Let's hope nobody follows us this time. A flashing message on your monitor attracts your attention. Throttling engines back, approaching Monolith Burger. Hey look, it's the Enterprise! And seems like they're just leaving. Too bad. Would've been nice to meet Captain Kirk. This song will never get out of your head. With the docking maneuver completed, the engine shut down. Welcome to Monolith Burger. Pop the hatch and ramble on in. Okay, interesting looking place. The decor, like the food, is the same in monolith burgers all over the universe. Generic counter clerks are eagerly awaiting to help you. Diverse life forms are crowded around the counter and sitting in booths consuming what can only loosely be termed food. Uh, let's look at some of the people here. Your eyes take in the diversity of alien forms without much interest. After all, you're quite a spacefaring kind of guy. I guess he's used to that kind of thing. Why don't you buy a bag of food first? Okay, okay. I thought maybe we could look at what other people were eating. Eating? Man, this table is a mess. Yes, the cold plastimal tables are like millions of others you've seen. That's never gonna work. Um, well, looks like there's quite a line here. Let's see what's on the left. That's the same description as before. And I'm gonna save here. I wanna show you what happens if you try and go into the other airlock. Go into the other ship. Out of my airlock! Geek! Well, he's gone now, so now I guess we can safely go back in there. Or 
or not. That's it for you, Bozo! Hey, my name isn't Bozo. Don't trust guys in black spacesuits. Pulse laser blast to the forehead is not your idea of fun. Fortunately, it didn't hit anything important. Yeah. Nevertheless, we're still dead. So I guess we should order some food. After all, what else would you do in, uh, in a fast food restaurant? But we'll do it in the next video.